So here I'm going to turn the classic diabetes dataset into a PyTorch dataset. So I've already loaded in the load diabetes function and PyTorch and pandas and the dataset class from PyTorch, which all PyTorch datasets need to inherit from. So I'll get started by creating a class. I'm going to call it the diabetes dataset. And it's going to inherit from torch.utils.data.dataset. And that's just an abstract class which defines a bunch of methods which you need to implement. I think those methods are the get item and the len. So I need to define three things. One is the initializer. One is the get item, which defines the behavior for square bracket indexing of this of an instance of this class. And one of them is the len, which defines the behavior for when I call Python's built-in len function on an instance of this data set. So eventually I want to be able to use this data set like this. And I should be able to index the data set and I should be able to get the len of the data set like that. So if I run this now, cool. So now I need to implement these methods. So firstly, when I initialize this data set, what I need to do is um, I've initialized the parent class there and I need to get the data. So let's say I'm going to use the load diabetes method from sklearn to get that. And I'm going to give it a return x, y equals true. So this is going to give me two things. It's going to be the, give me the features and the labels like that. So I will say not just x and y, but self.x and self.y is equal to what's returned from that load diabetes. Now, when I get an item, I should, I believe, simply be able to, you know, I'm going to get the self.x at that particular index, which I've been asked for, and then the self.y at that particular index. And I'll return both those things. That should be a tuple of those two items. Yeah, so that would be the features and the labels for any particular index. And then I'm going to return the len of either self.x or self.y. They've got the same length. That should give me the length of the data set. So if I run this again, it should get something more sensible now. Cool. I didn't print any of this, so we didn't see anything. But let's just do that. So if I run that, you can see here I've got one example. So it's a tuple of two things. The first is an array, and the second is this, this scalar target. And then I've got the len, which is 442, which if you look up the documentation in sklearn, you'll know that is the correct length of the data set. The only thing I want to do now is actually turn these into torch tensors as well. Now, if I print that, I've got two torch tensors. So now that's ready to be used in PyTorch as a regression data set.